so welcome students so in this question you given that you have an ellipse x square by 16 plus y square by 9 is equal to 1 and you are asked to find the locus of the midpoint of the portion of tangent of this ellipse intercepted between the coordinate axis that is if you select a point on this if you select any point on this ellipse and draw the tangent so you can see that as you move the point the tangent is changing and the tangent is intersecting the x axis at these two points and as you change the point the points on which the tangent meets x and y axis is changing now let g be the midpoint of this e and f so e is the point where the tangent meets x axis f is a point where the tangent meets y axis so g is the midpoint so in this question you are asked to find the locus of this point g so as this point is moving you can carefully observe the path that the point g traces so it is mo moving away so as this point is going closer and closer to the y axis so the point is moving away the point is coming back and then it's again moving away so as the quadrant is changed again the point is coming from the negative direction and so you have to concentrate on this point i am observing the locus of the point g so as this point is moving the point g is also moving along some curve so you are asked to find the equation of that curve so what is the path that point g traces so you can also see the path that this point traces So as you can see as this point as you are moving the point where the tangent is drawn the midpoint is moving along that curve so i hope you can see the locus so you are in this question you are asked to find the equation of this curves so let us see how to analytically find the equation of this curves so now that you have observed the animation of what is being asked so let us try to solve this analytically so let let us start with the standard step of solving locus problems so let p h comma k be a point on locus now p h comma k if is a point on the locus this should be the midpoint of a b so what will be the coordinates of a and b so a is on x axis so the y coordinate will be 0 b is on y axis so the x coordinate is 0 h comma k is the midpoint so this has to be equal to 2h then only the midpoint will have a coordinate h and this will be equal to 2k so the coordinates of a are 2h comma 0 and b are 0 comma 2k now according to the given question the line joining these two points has to be a tangent to this ellipse so what is the general equation of tangent to this ellipse y is equal to mx plus root of a square m square 16 m square plus 9 so let us take plus or you can also take it as minus so plus or minus this now this has to be same as this line but what is the equation of this line x by 2h plus y by 2k is equal to 1 there is the intercept form now these two lines have to be same so if these two lines have to be same the coefficients have to be proportional the coefficients have to be proportional so if you want to directly equate the coefficients you can convert this into the same form so y by 2k is equal to 1 minus x by 2h this implies y is equal to 2k times 2h minus x by 2h so this 2 and 2 gets cancelled that is e this implies y is equal to minus k by h times x minus k by h times x plus 2kh by h is plus 2k so this will be the equation of this line and this should be same as this line hence if you equate the coefficients now here you have 1 and 1 the coefficient of y is 1 the coefficient of y is 1 now the coefficients have to be equal so 
what is the x coefficient minus k by h should be equal to m and 2k should be equal to plus or minus root of 16m square plus 9. So, if you square this on both sides, we have 4k square is equal to 16 times m square is k square by h square plus 9. So, now you got a, an equation completely in terms of h and k. So, if you replace h with x and k with y, you get the locus. So, 4y square is equal to 16y square plus 9x square by by x square because h is x 16y square plus 9x square by so this implies 16y square plus 9x square is equal to 4x square y square so if you take x square onto the numerator so this will be the equation of so this will be the required equation of the locus which has been shown in the software thank you